Hey, RCA Church family, I hope you're having a great week. Man, I don't know about you, but I am really enjoying this incredible fall weather. It's so, so awesome. Speaking of awesome, man, we had an incredible time this past Sunday. We had one of the missionaries that we support regularly come and be with us and share from their heart. And it was just so, so powerful. I'm not going to mention their name or where they serve because it's a sensitive area and their lives could literally be at risk. But talking about that, they shared a story of a colleague that they actually worked with and knew and he laid down his life for the gospel. He was kidnapped um, by extremists. They told him that he had to recant his faith and convert to Islam or he would be killed. And he made the decision to stand with Jesus. Powerful testimony. And it got me thinking about some takeaways from what our missionary shared this past Sunday. One of those is we know that there are people in the world that are still called even today to lay down their life for Christ like this gentleman that we heard about this past Sunday. But here in our culture, in our society in America, thank God we have not reached that point in that place yet and I pray that we never will. But the challenge that we have is to live for Christ. Some are called to die for Christ but we in America, we're called to live for him. And what would that look like in your life if you made the decision today that everything that you do, every word that you say, every action that you take, you're going to live for Jesus. You're going to run it through the filter. Does this please and honor the Lord Jesus Christ or does it not? And if it doesn't, you don't do it. And if it does, you do. I just want to challenge you. You don't have to lay down your life in America today to serve Jesus. You just need to stand up and live for him. I challenge you and encourage you with that word. The second takeaway is this. The missionary shared about how they work with 240 kids in this school. They go in and they take these kids from the worst areas, kids that probably would be radicalized by Islam, and some of them maybe even end up terrorists, but they take those kids at an early age in K-5 through five elementary school, and they begin to work with them and love them and show them uh, what true faith in Jesus Christ looks like. Mind you, this is in an Islamic area. And what's happening there is those kids are growing up. The, the school has been in existence about 15 years now. Those kids are growing up. They're continuing their education. They're becoming influential members of their community. And they're changing their community one life, one family at a time. It's powerful. And the missionary talked about this concept of seed that these kids are, have now become seed in their community and their environment. And that's my challenge to you is you may think, you know what, I'm not making a difference. The things that I do, how I live, it doesn't matter. No, listen church, you are seed. How you live your life matters. Other people are watching your decisions to live for Jesus, just like I said a while ago, have an impact beyond what you would know and understand. I challenge you with those two thoughts. Live for Jesus and let your life be seed for others to see and come to know the gospel of Jesus Christ. I hope you'll take that to heart this week. And also tonight, 7 p.m. Refuel, be here. We're going to have an incredible service. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.